How appropriate that the Education Secretary was visiting a school on the day we finally got to see the delayed education bill. Ruth Kelly believes it is now changed enough for Labour MPs to vote for it. After the threat of a backbench rebellion, the government had to compromise. So schools won't be forced to take on trust status. Head teachers will be able to set their own admission policies, but interviewing will be banned. And if a trust school closes, it will have to return assets to the council. So playing fields, for example, couldn't be sold without permission. Well, I'm confident that this is a bill that my colleagues should be able to unite around. It's a very good bill. It gives schools the freedom that they need to be able to raise standards for all of their pupils and also to forge partnerships with other local schools, with local business foundations and the voluntary sector where they can bring in extra help and expertise to raise standards as well. But opposition to the plans for trust schools remains deeply entrenched. This is the numbers tightrope that Tony Blair is walking. The government's majority is 64, so it would take just 33 rebels to defeat Tony Blair. His problem is that 91 Labour MPs have so far signed up to the so-called alternative white paper on education, opposing the government's plans. So Tony Blair has got to woo back at least 59 of those just to get a majority of one. Some Labour MPs who threatened to rebel have been reassured. The question is, has the government won over enough of them to carry the day? I think you people in the media would love to see a big fight and a government defeat, and you ain't going to get it. We will talk amongst ourselves, we will go to meetings, we will ask questions of ministers, we will hire them till we get straight answers, and we'll go back and talk to our constituents and our head teachers. At this school in Birmingham, as throughout the country, teachers are closely scrutinising every move. My big worry with, with proposals for trust schools and, and, and academies it, is that it could leave other schools uh, sort of lying by the wayside while, while one becomes the beacon school in the area and, and uh, leaves the others to think really. Schools that have got people um, who are not directly involved in education, who are making some of the key decisions about how the school should run, are not necessarily going to be well served. Ruth Kelly has two weeks to persuade enough Labour MPs to back the government, or Tony Blair will have to rely on the votes of Conservative MPs to win. Glenogar's The Sky News, Westminster.